YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name's Demetrius B. I'm the Box Truck Prince. And today we're gonna be talking about how, <clears throat> excuse me. Today we're gonna be talking about the low board, the Amazon low board, and how I book consistent freight every single night. Let's get started. All right, so how I book consistent freight is by using poster truck. I'm gonna save it towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna switch over to my laptop and I'm gonna give you guys the full details on the low board. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna go over the different sections. I'm gonna also show you guys some things that you're gonna see when you achieve a certain status in Amazon as well. So let's switch over to my laptop. Let's go. All right, so this is what it looks like before you log in. So let's go ahead and get logged in. All right, so this is what it looks like when you're logged in. This is the dashboard right here. Um, it shows your trips that need attention. If you have multiple trips, it also shows, th these are just different shortcuts basically. Um, and this is the low board shortcut. So it takes you to the low board. You have your performance score, then you also have your payments, um, your gross. So, all right, so we're gonna move on to, actually let's do trips. So we're gonna click on trips. And this is where it shows your upcoming trips. I have three in the pipeline right now. Um, these are some that I actually booked last week, believe it or not. Um, they just popped up on the low board and I grabbed them because they are during the day. Um, so we can actually do these trips during the day and then do something during the night. So uh, we should be able to do two trips a day on these um, particular days. So that's good. Uh, we should have a good week this week. So um, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be talking about um, the end of this week as well. So might just go ahead and do a breakdown just on this week during, you know, cause it's like the past couple of weeks have been kind of slow. I know I've been saying it recently, but um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and break it down. Like, cause this is gonna be our best week so far during the slow holiday period that we're experiencing. So um, I'm gonna give you guys some, some uh, I'm gonna give you guys some insight on that. So yeah, all right, so this is the upcoming right here. And this is in transit. Um, so if you actually have a load that's on your phone, I'm gonna pull my phone out real quick. That is on your relay app on your phone, right? If you have it on your phone, then it'll show it once you log in, it'll show um, a trip that you've started already. It'll show it right here. And then over here we have history. So these are the two loads. Um, I made a video on this load right here. This load right here, I made a mistake guys. I um, It came in at three in the morning. I had my alarm set for four in the morning and that's the time that I needed to be there. I missed the load basically. Um, but it, it happens, you know, we all make mistakes. Um, this is not the first time it's happened. This is the second time it's happened where I missed the load um, because I, I kind of overslept. But hey, things change. Um, last week we were dealing with where the loads were coming in a little later, like around 12 at night um, due to our poster trucks. But this week, they've been coming in at four in the morning. Like this load literally came in at, um, that we did, this load literally came in at 4.45 in the morning. So um, yeah, and this one came in at three in the morning. So it happens guys, mistakes will happen. Um, it just depends on how you address the situation. Um, that's just what it is. Uh, I, I just take everything with a grain of salt and I keep it moving. But moving on, we're gonna move on to, actually I'm gonna skip the low board. I'm gonna come back to the low board. Driver roster, this is where you can set up your drivers at. Um, so you can add drivers here.
now um, capacity you can submit your weekly capacity um, right now we have um, two domiciles selected which is Atlanta and in, in, in general and then we have Atlanta West which is like on the west side of Atlanta so um, and this basically shows um, this allows you not to overbook capacity so they'll send you the amount of loads that you want based off of your capacity now this this kind of doesn't apply to us because we don't have contracts but um, it, it still allows you to get more loads if you have more trucks all right moving on we're gonna go to contracts now because we're box trucks um, I, I, I believe I've answered this in the comments as well um, box trucks do not get contracts from Amazon at least not yet um, I don't know if they're gonna roll out something potentially in the next year or maybe the next coming years but as far as I know only semi trucks get short-term contracts so everything for box trucks is just spot work that's all it is because when I initially signed up for Amazon or when I was going through the process of trying to sign up for Amazon initially I was gonna go through a broker and um, actually I had a dispatcher that I found who stated that they were working with a brokerage who had um, contracts with Amazon but turns out they went to the training in the training they stated that um, they stated that there were no box truck contracts so um, we're gonna move on to performance now all right so here's performance my score right now is a 98.9 percent um, I don't know due to the load that I missed it's probably gonna drop a little bit so but it's not gonna knock me out of um, getting access to the the better loads that one load so thankfully that's a good thing I'll we'll just have to wait um, another six weeks before that can be corrected um, yeah because it says right here that it is trailing six weeks so if you have a bad week for example where you may have been late or you may have a situation um, you know with like disruption for example I, I had a load where we had this uh, it was disrupted because I didn't assign a driver in time enough um, yeah like it, it if you how do I explain this it basically you have to wait almost six weeks in order for that week to be um, to rectify itself to, to change because it's trailing six weeks so the next six weeks that week falls off basically um, and also guys just to give you some insight keep this in mind the relay app does not care okay the relay app does not care whether you're late or not they will hit you the relay app will hit you it's just an algorithm at the end of the day okay so um, it's not somebody behind the screen um, sending um, sending it you know like they're saying that you're late um, I also I'm gonna show an email like when you're late for example you get emails um, basically saying that you know you're gonna be late and if you don't resolve it in a certain amount of time then your performance score will be affected so I will show that as well um, but yeah, like it's just an algorithm at the end of the day. If you're late to a stop, they will send, you know, um, they will say that you're late. They will hit your performance score. So make sure you guys, when you're on these trips, that you are checking your phone, checking your email because you have to respond within a certain amount of time. And again, I'll go over the email that I received um, due to that. So actually, Let's, uh, let's do that now. We're going to go ahead and do that now. I was going to go to payments, but we're going to go ahead and do that right now so you guys can get eight, okay? This is what it looks like right here. This is exactly what it looks like when you're late. Now, on the last route I did, for the last video that I did, we got four of these, all right? If you resolve these within the window that it gives you, it will not affect your performance score. It will not affect your performance score. If you add a delay, if you resolve these within a certain amount of time, it won't affect your on-time score. Big, big gem, big bomb, big gem, big gem right there. 
All right, let's go back. Okay, so I'm gonna click on box truck and then spot work. All right, so as you can see, like the last week that I had, um, my score was 94.9% due to some of the things that happened. Um, this week right here is gonna fall off. So um, this week was 98.1%. Um, so, but the last three weeks before that, we were at 100%. So yeah, um, this week right here, the week before we were at 100% too. So um, doing good, doing good. We've done almost, now that I'm looking at it, wow, we've done a lot of trips total um, in the past six weeks. We've done 52, 50, no, not 50, yeah, 52 trips, guys. That's a lot of trips. That's a lot of trips. All right, moving on. So we're going to go to payments. So these are the payments. Um, these are our payments right here. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You can click on here and see your invoices. Um, and you can also view them as well if you don't want to download them. And then um, they have different statuses right here. So if it's uh, pending, like if it needs to come in or if it's been paid, um, all of these have been paid. So here we go. We have the low board. I know you guys have been waiting on it. Here is the low board. Um, right now everything that is showing is for 53 foot trailers here in atlanta so i'm going to i'm going to actually open it up pretty much and um what we're going to do is i'm going to change the work type i'm going to change it from block i'm going to take off block excuse me round trips and we're just gonna leave one way up here. And then I'm going to go to equipment type. So you click this right here. And you're gonna go to equipment type, 26 foot truck. There's only two loads right now. Just shows you how slow it actually is, guys. Um, it's only two trucks, so, or two trips, my bad, two trips. It's what it is right now, on the load board at least, on the load board. And these are for $1.43, $1.26. Trash, no bueno, no good, we don't like those. Let's get those out of here. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna scroll up a little bit too. And they have some information on here as well, talking about poster truck, how you can use poster truck to match box truck loads. Um, it says when new work opportunities become available, they are matched to open post a truck orders before becoming available work on the relay load board. So the best loads, they become available using post a truck. That's how it works. That's how I'm consistently able to get um, freight every single night for the most part. We've been getting freight every single night with the exception of me missing, falling asleep. And yeah, so anyways, and also right here, it says that we qualify for one day payments um, because our on time and acceptance performance scores are above 90%. So as long as your on time and performance scores are above 90%, you have access to one day payments and um, early access. Now for one day payments, it's not for box trucks. It's only for block work, which is for 53 foot trailers. So. That doesn't apply to us. Um, I kind of wish it did, but I don't know. I kind of like getting paid, you know, in a lump sum. But anyways, to move on, what you can do instead of every single time having to come on here and then enter in your um, filters, you can create a save search. So I have some save searches right here. I have one for Atlanta for 26 foot box trucks, which is literally the same thing we had up. Um, and then I also have one for four dollars and up. So whenever a load comes on here, that's four dollars and up. I can book it pretty much immediately because there's nothing else underneath and there's nothing else in the way of that particular load on the board. It's it's pretty much like it's like a game, pretty much. <laughs> like um, you have to be on here to to get the best loads. Um, you got to be watching it. 
Um, it's it's a game in itself, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, when you're about to press book on a load as well. Also, guys, um, a, a really good piece of information. There's no negotiating for these loads. There's no negotiating for them. Amazon sets the rates for these loads, okay? So when you click to hit book on a load, this is what pops up. Um, and these are the box truck requirements, the minimum requirements that you have to have um, in order to do, um, I'm gonna bring it back up, Amazon's um, loads. So you have to have your own, you have to have E-Track, you don't have to have E-Track, you don't have to have that. You have to have straps, you have to have a pallet jack, and um, a 26 foot dock height box truck. Uh, but you can use a 24, okay? You can use a 24, all right? You don't have to have a 26 in order to do it. But yeah, you have to have pallet jack, straps, and um, either a 26 or a 24 foot box truck. Um, and I believe it says lift gate too, with a lift gate. So when you're looking for your truck, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a 26 or 24 foot box truck with a lift gate. Okay. All right. So if you made it this far, we are about to get to the, 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 the biggest part of why I've been successful in this. Okay. Um, let's just get right into it. Post a truck. All right, so I've got some open orders right now, as you can see. And what this allows you to do is set pretty much how much you want to drive for, the rate that you wanna drive for, and if it if the, the freight gets assigned to you, you get it for whatever you have it up for. So I have some trips up here for between 100 and 200 miles for $4 a mile and then um, a shorter run, so anything less than 100 miles for $6 a mile. That's what I've been doing. That's how I've been consistently getting freight every single night. So I'm gonna show you guys, um, these are just the open orders that I have, but this is the match section. Take a look at this. I I'm just gonna go back, okay? I'm gonna go back all the way and see i've gotten for the past two nights i've gotten two loads for four dollars a month during slow season boom boom but i'm gonna go back all the way until november and show you guys just how many loads i booked from postal truck alone that have been i'm just gonna show you here you here it goes all right i'm gonna go all the way back to when we started pretty much so let's go Are you guys seeing this right now? Look at this. I booked all this freight from using Postal Truck. All this freight right here. Every, nothing under $4 a mile. Everything has been over $4 a mile. I've even booked some long runs for $5 a mile, guys. Crazy. Look, this one right here, $6.50 a mile. $6.50 a mile. But again, that's that's just an example. Like, that's how I've been consistent in this, guys. That's like that. This is all the sauce right now. This is all the this is the bomb right here. Okay. All right. I'm going to switch back to my camera now. I'm gonna let that sink in for a bit. And um yeah. I'll see you guys back on the camera. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm showing you guys exactly how it happens when a poster truck order comes in. So as you can see at the bottom of the screen, um, it comes in green and then it will pop up um, when the order has been filled. And then all you have to do is go to your trip section and assign a driver at that point. So that's how post a truck works. 
you fill you create an order and then whenever they need freight moved the order gets filled pops up green shows up in your trips you get an email for it so yeah all right moving on we're going to be talking about the notification section um, whenever you are late to a stop or to an arrival um, they will send you an email and what you guys have to do is complete that resolve that issue when you resolve that issue you put in the date and then you put in your ETA and a reason for the delay if you do this within the allotted time for you to resolve this matter it will not affect your performance score okay it will not affect your performance score so huge huge information huge information so here i'm just completing um the uh, resolution of this issue and you hit submit and um then at that point the issue is resolved all right moving on to the relay app so this is the relay app this is what it looks like um i would go over the process of the scanning of the freight but because i haven't started a trip yet um I, I can't do that so maybe here in the future i'll include that in another video while i'm at the an amazon facility picking up i'll screen record me scanning the freight and um, what that process looks like as well but yeah this is what the amazon relay app looks like on the inside that's the history and um this is where your vehicles are stored so every time you start a trip you have to select your vehicle this is the support center and the about section and that's pretty much it guys All right, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys have gained all the knowledge, all the information. Make sure you watch these videos over, take notes, whatever you gotta do. Um, 